Hello, my name is Gianfranco Moreno from the EFW18, and I'm going to show you how to work with branches in Visual Studio. So when you first open Visual Studio, and you open the project that you have been working on and you want to work on, and it's part of a repository, what's going to happen is that it's going to load the latest branch that you have been working on. So the latest branch that I have been working on is Feature Develop. And you need to be very aware of this because uh, this is the first uh, kind of errors that we make. We're not supposed to be working on feature development unless we are merging something. So, but I don't remember that feature development is picked or I don't notice. So I start making changes. I start making changes in the code. I start working on it. And then when I realized it was not my feature branch, it was feature development. So what do I do? Should I push, commit and push that into feature development, which it's, uh, it's gonna make, air, uh, it's gonna make problems or it's gonna create problems or when, when other uh, people try to get that into their feature development to also make the work, uh, should I just tell my, uh, the, the branch administrator should I undo everything I have done? Uh, the Honestly, the most humane thing to do would be to undo everything that you did. Nobody, almost nobody's gonna do it. So you're gonna be messing with a lot of people. You're gonna be making a lot of people mad. You're gonna be making errors, causing errors, causing mistakes, uh, making a lot of people waste a lot of time. So you need to be very aware that you have to be, that you are on the branch that you need to be. That is very important. Another thing that you have to do every time you open Visual Studio and you connect to, the, to your big bucket project or the big bucket repository branch, whatever, it's you're gonna go to Team Explorer, you're gonna go to Sync, and you're gonna get, you're gonna check if there, if there are any changes that happened in the, in the remote uh, repository, in the original repository, which is in the in the cloud service in the server, in Bitbucket. So you're gonna go to Team Explorer, then Sync, and you're gonna click Fetch. If there are no changes. Nothing to fetch in the origin. You're not gonna see anything. You're good to go. But that is not only gonna get data from the repository in Bitbucket that pertains to your feature branch. It's also gonna synchronize and get any changes done over there. Meaning history of commits on other branches that you haven't worked on, although you are working on. Uh, changes or new repositories created that you have given permission is going to refresh all your permissions. It's going to show you uh, more options to clone if they created more options to clone. It's going to give you new forks if new forks were created for you to clone. So it's very important that first thing that you do when you open, you do and you fetch. Another thing, when you fetch and then you pull, it's very important that you also check the changes that happen. So I don't think nobody has been pulling anything. I'm not going to be able to show any anything new. OK, there you go. So I picked feature development. And I see here that there's a lot of incoming commits from a lot of people. A lot of changes that have been happening even a couple of days ago. So I'm not even gonna touch this because that's gonna mess mess my code because um, we have been having problems with this. So I'm not gonna push any of this. And I have also outgoing commits, which I haven't done because if I do, if, if I do push, I'm gonna need to manually merge with these changes. This is why it's so important to work properly on branching 
this the branching schema and the forking schema, which I explained on a previous video of the policies and procedures on how to work with, with Bitbucket and branches and forks. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna do anything. And I'm gonna go back to my feature branch, which has the latest code that we have integrated for the EFWA project and the project that is actually published in the database. So one thing that you need to remember is that you have picked the branch that you actually want to work on. Second, you have to go to Team Explorer and to sync to fetch and then pull the latest changes. And also, when you're done working with something for the day, it's very important that you commit your changes. So what you're gonna do, you go, go to changes, and if there's any changes that you need to commit, you're gonna type here, let's say the, the, the user story that you have been working on, any description of what you are committing, and then you're gonna click commit. Then you're gonna click sync, and you're gonna push. Push is gonna commit that into your origin. So that's it. So first thing, you check the branch that you're working on, you go to Team Explorer, then sync to do a fetch, then you pull, which is gonna get it and sync it with your local and origin repositories. And then be, af, af, when you're done, you're gonna go to changes, you're gonna commit all your changes, and then you sync it, meaning you're gonna push it to your origin in Bitbucket. Thank you.